my lovies how is everyone today I just want to say a great big welcome to all my brand new subscribers thank you so much your love and support means the world to me and I hope you feel my love and support as well now without much further ado let's get on with this you've seen the title of my video it's how to fold a fitted sheet and this I actually learned from the Queen herself Martha Stewart many years ago I was watching one of her programs and everything she did made sense so now I want to share that impart that to you and um, it's super simple I hope that I say it in words that make sense to you if you don't understand what I'm saying and what I'm doing please hit me up in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell right beside that will let you know the next time I upload a video follow me on snapchat Twitter Facebook and Instagram I try to keep those updated as much as possible let's go all right so I have a fitted sheet and a fitted sheet is the one that actually fits over your mattress 100% like properly the flat sheet is the one that just lays there flat <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of in the name if you know what I'm talking about um, so I have the fitted sheet here and I'm going to go lengthwise and I always start with the sheet um, inside out so that the seams the kind of the ugly part I'm not sure if you can see is on the outside see this little seam down here it's the frayed end and whatever so what I do is lengthwise I take these two and press the tips together and then fold my right side over my left okay then I pull along I keep my finger up <laughs> up into the corner here and then pull it tight or taut over at the side and then give it a little kind of a, a wiggle so that everything kind of falls down together then I take my right arm place it right where the left arm was so now the clean side of the sheet is up and I will take the next piece and then fold that over my right side so that now again I have that frayed edge of the seam and then finally I will find that fourth and final corner and this one I actually take with my arm inside of the seam so that everything matches up properly I take the one that I already have on my right side and slide it underneath my arm on my left and then pull <laughs> this over top then I'll take the two loops that are down here give that a quick little shake so that it shakes it all the way to the bottom and everything lines up properly I'll put my left arm right back into that little folded over corner and then make sure that my two loops down at the bottom are gathered together and I will shake that as well so that everything lays completely flat then I will lay it on my bed flat and I will change my camera so that you can see this all right so we have everything laying down I've got the corner right here and this mess I'll just flatten that out so that the corner fold is there and then I'll just simply bring that side over so that it folds perfectly where the corner edge is now depending on whether you have a twin which is what this size is a queen or even a king size fitted sheet um, it just depends on how you want to make this next fold all I do is simply take the ends and fold them right up over top like this so that it lies flat and that's just a really good length right there then I will take this fold it over once fold it over twice fold it over three times 
And there you have a beautifully folded fitted sheet that looks absolutely stunning. And gentlemen, this is for you too. You know when you have a lady come over to your home, you want to make it look so that it's really presentable and clean, because we women take note of these things, trust me. But ladies, if you've got a lot of sheets to fold, this is the most efficient way um, it isn't the right way, it's just it's a really good way of making everything look good and presentable and it's actually really easy to store and um, keep, just keep. So I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and if you did please give me a great big thumbs up. I, I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks so much.